In today's video, I'm going to be talking about different aspect ratios. So square video, vertical video, and horizontal video, and how to work with those within Premiere Pro. I'm Amanda Horvath, and I'm all about helping business owners and entrepreneurs leverage the power of video without breaking the bank or taking up tons of their time. So if you're looking to use video in your strategy this year, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. I get a ton of questions related to how to edit square and vertical video and can it be edited out of horizontal video or do you have to shoot it with the square and vertical ratio? So many questions. And in this video, I want to answer all of them. So I've shot a couple of different aspect ratios that I have brought into Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you how to create the sequences and then also walk through best practices when shooting footage for the different aspect ratios. So let's dive into it. So let's start off by creating all of the different aspect ratios. So what we're going to do, I've just created a basic file structure here. I have a whole video where I dive into how to organize your project files that you can check out somewhere in the cards. But here, what we're going to do is under the 01 sequences folder, I am going to go down here and click new item and click sequence. So first we'll start by creating the horizontal sequence and that for that one I always use the sequence presets. I go to digital SLR, 1080p and then 24 frames per second. And I'll show you how to discover what frames per second your footage is shot in in just a second here. So actually here, I'll show you right now. Right here, you can see that there's a frame rate next to your clip. And if you can't see that, you can just move this back and forth to see all of the different options. Um, it won't let me do that while this is open, but you can see right there, 24 frames per second. So what we'll do is we'll name this horizontal video. And if we go under the settings tab here, it has all of those settings that are the standard ones from the sequence preset. But since it is shot in 24 frames per second and not 23.976, we can just drop this down and change that to 24 frames per second. Click OK. And now we have a horizontal video sequence that is 1080p, so that is HD. Now we are going to create the vertical video. So we'll do the same thing down here. Click on new item and go to sequence. The alternative is to use the keyboard shortcut command in to create a new sequence that will bring up this dialog box and we will ignore this first page and click on the settings page and we will change this from 1920 by 1080 to 1080 by 1920. So it's nine by 16 instead of 16 by nine. And since we know that our frame rate is 24 frames per second, we could drop down and click that there and rename this vertical video. Bam. And finally, let's create the square sequence. So same thing here, sequence or command N. Let's go under settings. And for this one, we are going to make it 1080 by 1080, so that is a one to one ratio. And once again, we'll change this to 24 frames per second and click here, we'll do square video. So with that, we have created all of the different sequences that you might need. So we have horizontal video and you can see the black square there. There's that, the square one and the vertical one. So what beginners often do, they make the mistake of taking vertical footage and putting it into a horizontal sequence, editing their entire video from there, only to have to realize when they export the footage that they have these bars on the side of it. So that can be quite a bummer. So if that is you and that is what you've done, let me show you how to quickly fix that. So I have some vertical footage here that I'm just going to drag down and I will click keep existing settings because if you're dragging a vertical video into a horizontal sequence, it will say, hey, you need to change the sequence settings and you'll, you, we actually don't want to change them right now. So I'm just gonna keep existing settings. I'm going to select this, right click, set to frame size so that we have the vertical video. We see the full thing, it's not zoomed in. So 
this is what it's going to look like. So let's say you've edited your entire video in a horizontal sequence. Here is how you change it. So you'll go horizontal video, you will right click on this and click sequence settings. This dialog box will pop up once more and then you'll want to flip flop these numbers. Boom. And it will change your sequence to be vertical video. Now, I made the mistake of shooting this footage in 4K, so typically if you shot in a 1080p, your footage would properly be sized. Um, so I shot it a little bit bigger, so I'm having to scale it down to sit the, fit the frame size. So if you had 1080p footage in a 1080p sequence, but it was vertical, then it would just cut off the sides. So that's your trick, then go ahead and export. So moving on to the vertical video, you can see when we import the vertical video, we're going to keep existing settings. Once again, shot this in 4K, so accidentally, we're just gonna scale this down to 50. All right, and you can see vertical video works beautifully when shot vertical and imported into a vertical sequence. And now we are going to import some horizontal footage into this same sequence, and I'm going to show you how that works. So when you drag the horizontal footage into a vertical sequence, you can see that the sides are cut off. So let me show you what this looks like in a horizontal sequence so that you can see that. And of course, because it's 4K, let's just click set to frame size. All right. So you can see that's what it looks like if horizontal, but when it's vertical, it's way too close onto my face. So when you are shooting horizontal video, you want to consider the fact that you will be cropping off the sides. So you need to frame the shot to make it to where it has space in the middle of the frame. So what I've done here within this clip is I was just kind of close to the camera, making faces, and then I just moved away from the camera and there you go, it's framed a whole lot better for vertical video. And you can just reposition it to make yourself in the center of the frame by under effects controls using the position left and right. These are your X and Y coordinates, so up and down and left and right. So just to recap, vertical video, you want to be a little bit further back from the camera if you plan to take horizontal footage and turn it into vertical footage. So now let's dive into square video. So let's take these exact same two clips and show you how we can cut vertical video into a square video and how we can take horizontal video and crop it square. So let's drag both of these in. So you can see here that vertical video is going to have just a little bit of bars on the side. So if we select it, you'll just want to go to the effects controls and just scale it up a little bit like that. And you can move it around to make it to where your head isn't being cut off and it's where you want it to be by using these. So that is how you change vertical video to square. Now the best practices for shooting vertical video with the intention of cropping it square is to ensure that you're not filling the frame to the extent where you wouldn't be able to crop off the top and the bottom. So if you're looking at my frame right now, it would probably be perfect because I could crop it like this and we would have space still. But if I was any closer to the camera, then you wouldn't be able to make the square, like my head might be cut off. So that's something to consider with vertical video going into square, a square sequence. Now let's look at horizontal video going into a square sequence. So here you can see that the video, when I, when I clicked set to frame size because it's 4K video, right? It's zoomed out all the way to fill the frame. So this is how people create, and including me, those Gary V type style videos where there's the title at the top and the captions at the bottom and the progress bar going across, which shameless plug right here, if you don't wanna have to create your own, then you could buy my social teaser template, amandahorvath.com slash store. Save yourself some time, barely spend any money. 
it's only like 20 bucks. So that's how you would do that. So now you can see here, let's actually, let's say you're not using the social teaser template and you need to fill the entire square. What you would do is just go into here, scale it up like that, shift it to make me in the middle, making that face. And then once again, I did this example where I'm close to the camera and then I kind of back away and I'm further away. So you can see same situation with square. It's a little bit more pleasant to be a little bit further away from the camera if you're planning to crop it square. Now, one other thing to note with square video, I recommend sitting in the center of the frame instead of on the side and frame your shot to where it will look good if you crop out whatever you're planning to crop out. So let's look at this frame right now. And if I was to crop it into a square frame, then this whole section would be lost and the background would be super boring. There'd just be a white curtain and a white wall, right? So if I was to shoot square video in this space, I just need to scoot over like that, get in the middle of the frame. I could crop off the edges and you would still get the bookshelf and the painting in the back and that would be a lot more interesting than being on the side. So just consider what you are losing when you are turning horizontal video into square video. So those are my best practices for shooting and editing different aspect ratios using Premiere Pro. If this was helpful, be sure to click like, drop a comment below letting me know, and otherwise I'll see you in the next video.